What's up, you guys? I'm back in the video, and I'm wondering how many high Q fans I have on this channel because today I will talk about season five of high Q, what to expect, possible release date, you know, all that type of stuff. But yeah, basically, the whole synopsis is because I recently read, you know, in the manga, the uh, next art, which is a um, spoiler alert. If you haven't caught up with, you know, high Q, I'm going to talk about the manga, so you know, beware. But yeah, basically, the next art after season four, after it ended, was the Karasuno versus Nekoma at Nationals arc. That whole arc, you know, I just finished reading that whole match and arc. And oh my god, we need season 5 ASAP, please, bro. Because I read the whole thing. I, I was going to wait till the anime, you know, come out. But at this point, we're not getting none of soon. Because, like, I, honestly, I made videos I think talk about before time was not possible. Season 5, you know, like, I jumped Festa when I was in December, but we ain't got nothing about it yet. It's got, like, a little, I guess, rumor about it, but anyways, so yeah, we ain't getting nothing about Haikyuu Season 5 yet, but I took it upon myself to read the next art, and trust me, if you're a Haikyuu fan, read the next art, because it is so good, bro. But yeah, but anyways, let me go and get straight to it by talking about, you know, the plot of Season 5. I won't talk about major, major spoilers, like, who won the match, and, you know, start just talking about in between, like, what happened, and my favorite moments without, you know, giving spoilers, so, yeah, so, basically, um, of course, season five started off with that match, you know, um, they did, like, a little flashback, you know, ish, because, you know, if you don't know, they have history, uh, Kurosuna and Nekuma, and if, also, if you don't know, they are my favorite teams, like, of all of Haikyuu, you know, fun fact, I think those two, and, um, the team, uh, with, uh, Oshi, Oshiara? I think that's the name, yeah, um, uh, basically Kageyama rival as, like, the setter, that person, you know, <laughs> yeah, him and his team as my favorite, but saying that smart Mars have, like, you know, have, and talking about how far they come, you know, since, you know, back in the practice days, because they've been friends since, like, season, end of season one and, like, beginning of season two, I remember that, and, you know, Kenma relationship with Hinata and then Kageyama and Kuro, the, uh, even the, the two captains, like, Kuro and even, uh, Dashi, like, Dynamics are through the roof, and I'm telling y'all, if you're uh, your fan of Haikyuu and you, you can't wait for the anime to come out, go ahead and read season five because it trust me, it's not. Even though it might be hard to follow sometimes, I will say that's gonna be hard to follow because like you know, it's like a lot of action movements, you know. So be aware of that, but I'm telling you, it's still worth it because like it's intense. I think it's probably like one of the most upcoming like fan favorite arcs. So you know, you don't get spoiled by that. But yeah, I think the thing I like about this arc because like first of all, it's straight action. Now it might be like times where they of course talk about what happened throughout the match, you know. But you get used to it. It might be like a little uh, annoying at first, but you get used to it because they do it a lot in anime as well too. But, like, so from the first match and, you know, from the second match, you could tell, like, these two are meant to play each other in the finals, bro. <laughs> or, I mean, at the Nationals, because, man, uh, I will say, don't underestimate Nekuma, bro. Because if you remember back in, like, season two and three, well, I'm, I'm, I'm about season two, that they was, like, already gifted. <laughs> like, th th that school is, like, already good from the beginning. So, of course, you know, they already expect them to go to the Nationals. But the thing with Kurosuno is they seem sucked, you know, <laughs> in the beginning. I remember that. But, like, they had a heart, and they kept pushing, and then even when they, you know, lost from, like, the last Nationals when they was trying to go there, you know, last year, or the previous year before this one, they was determined that they was going to make it this year, and they busted their asses off. And it shows in this match with Nekama, bro, and I'm telling you, they go at it. Like, everyone on the team does something that contributes to the game. Like, and obviously, uh... The tensions are high because, well, <laughs> one of them loses, that's it. You know, they, they lose one game and they add the tournament and they add the nationals. And it's like, oh my god. And you, I look, you didn't want both teams to lose because <laughs> I love both of them. And, you know, it just sucks. But, but yeah, I would say this is probably one of my favorite. Actually, I think it's tied my favorite match uh, in all of IQ. Uh It's tied with the one, of course, from season two. Uh, uh, Oshikawa, I, I'm sorry if I pronounced the name wrong. That whole match and the whole secret sort of end, that's still my favorite. So, you know, so I gotta say it's tied. I can't say it's better than that, honestly. But uh, yeah, so I will say the dynamics was amazing. The development through these characters, like from their first match against each other, like in the beginning of the series, and until now, you can see how far both of the team comes, and it's amazing to read, man. And hopefully, we get the season soon but yeah also i want to point out that they have excellent backstories as well of course they go into the backstories regarding uh nekuma team like especially kenma and it's honestly a great backstory haikyuu never felt that their backstory then it's amazing and you can include uh kuro in there too because well that both of them was like came up together him and uh kenma so yeah and of course when they go into their stories their uh you know childhood stuff you, you see that side of the story and it's like damn 
you're going from them now. You don't want them to lose because if they lose, then that's over for them. And they have a good way of showing that in the show and in the manga. And it honestly hurts to see people lose in this sport, bro. <laughs> but yeah, so I highly make you check it out. And if you're planning on reading it, I would say add like some OST, some high key OST, or even my hero OST because it gets you pumped and like it's a great way to read, at least for me. So yeah. Um, now, regarding season five, uh, Fortune still have no news. I think, like I said, I saw someone on the uh, internet, it was like a while ago. I think I made a video about it. I don't know if it's still up or not. <laughs> but uh, talking about the team was working on a high season five, but I don't know if that's still true because we would have got some by now. If that was the case, like at least a visual or some, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but we ain't getting nothing yet. Hopefully, we get news soon. And maybe it could come like in the fall of this year, you know, something like that. But yeah. That's kind of all we got right now, so um, just be on the lookout. And also, I will, will say I'm on the way to finishing the Haikyuu manga, so I'm got like a, I got a good ways to go, like good 80 chapters, then I'll probably finish it. And I would do a video towards it, like my thoughts on the end of the manga. So yeah, because I love Haikyuu if you didn't know. But yeah, that's kind of like basically like the plot of season five of Haikyuu. And I just want to show y'all about that, you know, what to expect. Just expect intensity, excellent backstories, drive, dynamics, incredible development, incredible moves, and a credible match. So be on the lookout for that. And like I said, go ahead and read it right now. Why not? With that being said, shout out to y'all. Thank you for the support. And I got more videos on the way. Also, comment down below uh, your favorite moment in Haikyuu or what you think about season five or, you know, this arc in Haikyuu. That being said, bye. Oh, whoa.